He also asked me to come out clearly on my policy on free SHS. Again, he's not in this country or he has been sleeping because I have made it clear that there are implementation problems with the free SHS. One, there's no dedicated funding. Two, parents are not happy with their double track. Three, the quality of food the children are giving is not good. And so I've said that NDC is going to come and fix these three things. One, we're going to corral part of our oil revenues into a dedicated fund. And that fund will be used to finance the free SHS. That's number one. Number two, we're going to fast track the completing, completion of our educational infrastructure so that we can ease the congestion in the schools, employ more teachers, and allow all our children to go to school at the same time instead of going on a traffic light. And Nana Kufado, three, I said I'll change your centralized feeding system. I'm going to decentralize the feeding of our children in secondary school. The money is going to go directly to their schools. And their schools will be responsible for procuring the food to feed the children in order that the food will be better quality. If you are listening to me, that is our position on free SHS. We're going to make sure that it works better, its implementation is better, the children have access to tel uh, textbooks, they have access to good facilities in their schools, we're going to provide laboratories, we're going to provide dormitories, we're going to provide administration blocks, we're going to provide dining halls, and all the things that they need to be able to make a good quality learning experience.